Hey YouTube, Ixalan here, bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Today's battle is a very special match. After weeks and weeks of begging and pleading, I finally accepted a match from SMP. I'm just kidding. Uh, SMP is a really cool guy, Super Mario Poke, uh, one of my friends, and we finally got around to getting a battle together, and this is the result of that battle. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, don't ask me why, but I lead off with Haxorus, and he's not Scarfed, he's Banded, uh, and I really had a lot of better leads that I should have gone with, but I didn't. Um, and I didn't go for the Brick Break, because I thought switching into Fairy Throne would be too obvious, and SMP's a better player than that. And I didn't want to lock myself into Outrage, and Earthquake doesn't work, so I went for the Dual Chop here. And it didn't do as much as I was hoping it would. Um, and I'm like, alright, well maybe he'll just leave his, uh, Lone Washin, and he doesn't. He switches out into Fairy Throne, which is a really good play, gets the dual Iron Barbs, rake damage on me after burning me, and the Haxorus is just not off to a good start. I, he's basically at half health, and I'm like, alright, I gotta switch out here. And I go out to my Nutsack, because I'm like, I'm gonna set up the rocks and spikes, and he thunderwaves me, and I'm like, I really don't care, because now, I'm, you know, if I have Gyro Ball, and I do, um, it will do more damage. So, he least sees me, and I'm like, alright, set up my rocks. What he doesn't know is that since he has, he has left everything anyway, it's not really going to be a big deal, I'm just going to rapid spin right now, and he switches into Magnezone, and... Fuck, I get the pair hack, so I'm like, ah, well, there's no point in rapid spinning now. I'm about to die to a fire attack, and if I don't, um, I'll probably die to lead seed, so I should just set up a layer of spikes. And he goes for the substitute, I'm like, okay, so he's just gonna slow drain me? Well, I mean, he's gonna get his health back anyway, so it's not really a big deal. He goes for the charge beam, and I'm like, alright, I'm probably gonna die after the next one, so I'm just taking this opportunity to set up, you know, as many entry hazards as I can. Since uh, Super Mario Poke is not running a spinner on this team, so I'll just, you know, do what I can here. And he finally kills me off, um, gets a second special attack rage with the charge beam. I'm like, alright, I know I can take at least one, if not two of those, with my heat ran, because I'm kind of bulky, so I just bring that in, and I let him get the, uh, the special attack rage, his third one, as I go for the flame charge to get the speed boost. And I didn't want to take the chance that he was going to switch into something to resist the flame charge, so I just went for the fire blast, because I knew I'd be faster than the Magnezone, and I wanted to get as much damage on something as I could. Probably could have gone with the flame charge here. Um, probably would have killed him, but, you know, definitely the safer play. So he goes into Frogger and sets up the rain, now my fire blast is going to do jack shit. But that's cool, because I got Hidden Power Grass, which is an amazing ability. And it looks like... I did about half, a little under half, and uh, I don't know why I thought I could live a Scald, but I kept him in because I thought I could live a Scald. I'm kind of an idiot. It doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go into Porygon 2 to wall him, uh, and I'm going to Toxic him because I was afraid, you know, he might have some mana recover or something. But he Toxics me too, and he's faster. And I'm like, okay, I see how we're doing this here. Um, I'm just going to take this opportunity to switch out, because I know that Haxorus is going to die anyways to the burn, and I can definitely have a Scald, and I'm faster, and all this stuff. And at this point, since he's at low enough health and poisoned, I figure he'll probably just sacrifice Politoed to Haxorus, so I just go straight for the Earthquake, um, as I live, you know, that turn with 11 HP. So it's going to be a double down here as I kill Politoed and Gogeta dies, I'm like, alright, I'm going into Gengar, this is a Specs Gengar, and he goes in the Hexorus, and I was like, alright, as long as he's not Scarfed, I can beat him. But he's Scarfed, and Outrage will easily kill me. I didn't really have anything else to really take an Outrage, I guess I could have gone into Porygon 2, that probably would have been a safer play, but whatever. So I do that now, um, I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam here, pretty sure that'll kill after the Spikes and self Wreck damage, and I definitely should have switched into it because... Well, no, I should have switched into it, because after, you see after the poison damage, a second Outrage would have killed him, and he's definitely faster than me. So this is a good play here. Um, I stay in to go for the recover here, as he sets up his Leech Seed, because I don't want to switch out and come back in poisoned with low health and not be able... Like, I know I'm currently faster than Ferrothorn, I don't want to come in and be slower than a Pokemon later and not be able to get my recover up. So I'm like, okay... I think one of my best ways to beat this Ferrothorn is to freeze hacks it. Like, I just, Ferrothorn really, I didn't have something to do with it since, uh, Gojita died, and I was like, fuck, what am I gonna do? Um, I don't get the freeze hacks, I get the crit, it helps a little, not really much. Um, 
And I predict that T-Wave pretty well by staying in, so, you know, that, that was always a good added bonus. So I'm going to go for the recover here, because I'm pretty sure I can take um, whatever he's got next, and he switches into Rotom Wash. And I'm like, okay, he's going to get some health here. This is going to suck. Um, but after all this poison damage, whatever, I'll just I'll just T-Bolt him. And he goes for the Pain Split. I'm like, damn it, you got a little bit of my health back. I guess that's not really a bad thing, though. Like, it, it could have been worse, but I'm like... He and he he said he thought he pain split because he thought I had more health. But I'm like whatever, I'll just I'll lay, I'll stay in here. Uh, father, I have 11 HP. It's not really a big deal. And he volt switches, which is you know the smarter play. He goes out to his Ferrothorn. That's giving me the most trouble right now. I'm like, oh, fuck. All right. Um, Tracheon, I'm gonna have to just close combat that. And he's like, I got the mens. If you're scarfed or banded or choice in some way, you can't win this match. And I was like, well, we'll see what happens, yeah, man. Um, this is, of course, uh, Madden Man's amazing idea of a expert belt to track count. It's fucking awesome. So I just go straight for the Stone Edge on the Mence and fuck his day up. And Trachyon coming in clutch at the very end. This shit is amazing. Just took out Ferrothorn. Just took out Salamence. And actually just dick punches this run and wash. So, um... We agreed afterwards that I made some really bad plays in the beginning, and he made some really bad plays at the end because he should have Salamenced, switched to Ferrothorn as fodder, Salamenced again so that he had two uh, attack drops on me, and it probably would have helped him out more. But anyways, uh, that was a really good game, Super Mario Poke. His channel will be in the description uh, below. Check it out. He's an awesome battler. I'm pretty sure all of you are already subscribed to him. But if you're not for some reason, definitely check out his channel, and I'll see you guys next time.